Hello Internet, Zach here, and welcome back to Collecting the Elements. In this episode, I'll show you my failed attempt to get helium into a spectrum tube. It's going to be interesting. There's some amateur glass blowing. There's some messing around with the vacuum rig. There's an epic fail at the end. So, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be revisiting helium in the future. I'm going to see if I have better luck with other elements in the meantime. Okay, making a spectrum tube. Start with torch, piece of glass, some copper wire to make the electrodes. Assorted tools. And a solution of borax to protect the wires. First things first. A little bubble so there's room for the electrode. <laughs> I'm gonna break the point off the end of this. That came from my last attempt at making a spectrum tube. Which actually worked. It was a good test of whether making glass to metal seals is gonna work out for me. There we go. Preparing an electrode. <clears throat> First, I'm going to bend the wire into a small spiral. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a little spiral. I'm going to take these tweezers here and these pliers here. I'm going to squash a part of the wire flat. That's important because that helps it seal. Next is to heat the wire gently to oxidize it. Like so. Then dip the wire into the borax. That gives the glass something to bond onto. Need a bit more of an opening here. Try not to melt the water. I've made that mistake before.
Oops. Note to self, if the pliers get too hot, they stick to the glass. Get off there. Oh, you're wrong. Oh, right here. What's right here? Yeah, that's like better. Oh. Okay. 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 You just went back and you can't do it. What is that? What is that? What is
Alright, the tube that I just made is on the pump now, pumping down. As you can see, it glows. That's the glow from the residual air inside here. There we go. That's the glow from the air. So if I try to let in a little helium, you notice the glow is still the glow of air. And that's because it only takes a small amount of nitrogen contamination to totally ruin the glow of helium. Now what my eyes can see but the camera can't is that the glow gets a lot more pink and a lot less purple as I try to let helium in. The camera's just seeing purple. Let's see if the diffraction grating shows me a difference in spectrum. I see the helium D line in here. Alright, so the camera had one of its ghost touch moments when I was trying to zoom in and flaked out on me. Oops. Trying to keep a diffraction grating in front of the lens. And that looks like a helium D line. Now it doesn't look like the glow, the, the yellowish glow that I think I'm supposed to get from helium, but it's definitely not the same pinkish purple as air. Huh. I'm gonna let helium in pump it down a couple of more times, seeing what that does to the color. It's still pink, but the camera's showing purple. The camera's showing a funny bluish purple. My eyes are showing a very pale pink. I'm actually, at this point, I should have brought my tripod in. At this point, I'm about to call that good enough and just tip this off. And say, hey, that's helium. But, let me go get my tripod. Alright, camera's on the tripod. Let's stick the diffraction grating on again. And yeah, not seeing a lot there.
is a two chip crap. That is the two leaking air. Yep. That's the two letting air in. Whale bar. So, there you go. The first fail. But they happen. The whole point is learn from it, try again. So, we'll see which element I have next week. And I'll get back to helium in the future after I get a little better with glass blowing and a little better set up with my vacuum rig. I think I actually need to replace the ball valves in the vacuum manifold with needle valves because the ball valves will hold just a little bit of air inside. That little bit of air will put just a little bit of nitrogen into the helium and a little bit of oxygen and totally screw up the whole thing. Other gases are a lot more forgiving. For example, neon or argon. So I might try one of those soon. In the meantime, uh, you know, if you like watching me fail miserably, hit the like button. If you think your friends would enjoy watching me fail miserably this week, hit the share button. And hey, if you want to see more and hopefully some uh, more successful element collecting in the future, hit the subscribe button. See you next time.